video, you'll be learning how to organize your samples with samples types. In your account, you can customize sample types and add new samples to create a digital representation of your inventory space to improve your workflow and collaboration efforts. Begin by selecting Inventory Browser under Inventory. In the Inventory Browser, you can view and navigate through your storage units with ease. By selecting a sample box under a specific compartment, you can see the exact placement of sample types represented by colour. The Legend section displays the sample type name with their corresponding colour. To view the entire list of sample types, navigate to Sample Types under Configuration. Here you can share, delete or edit the sample type. Add a new sample type by clicking the corresponding button. You may select one of the system templates or create a custom sample type. Enter a name, short description, choose a colour code or have a colour assigned automatically. Next, you may include an expiration date, as well as quantity from a range of units. To add extra fields, click the Add New Field button and select a field type. There are fields available for adding text or numbers, dates or times, option fields like drop-down or radio buttons, and a field specifically for linking files. Once selected, enter a field name, specific values, and click Save. By repeating these steps, you can add many more fields to customize the sample form according to your lab's needs. Other field options include setting as a required field and even adding additional instructions in a balloon tip. Fields can also be grouped into sections. Doing so allows you to have certain fields optionally visible based on previous choices. Click on the Settings and Sections. Then Add Section. Enter the section name and choose the section start and end. You can make the section conditionally visible by checking the box and adding a condition. Click Save. Return to the Form Editor page and now you are all set to add a new sample to the lab's inventory. There are two methods to add a new sample. By navigating to the Inventory Browser, and selecting a free space in a sample box. Or by clicking Add Sample in the Sample List. Once you've selected the sample type to add, fill in a name and description. Next, specify a storage location by browsing. Add a quantity, a species, and GMO strain if applicable. Click Save and Close, and you'll get an overview of the newly added sample. Easily find your samples through Advanced Search. Filter your search by sample types and fields. Or add a condition to narrow down your search results. Click the search button to see your advanced search results. 
If you wish to save your search, click the corresponding button and enter a name. Then click Save. Now it will be listed under the search lists. For more information, please visit elabnext.com. Thank you.